We're in this book. Jesus talked about us many times. He referenced to us. Yes, he did. You believe it? Hmm? Certainly did. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's a reference to me. <laughs> yeah. That's good, ain't it? Turn your Bible open to St. John chapter 3. St. John chapter 3. We're referenced, or referenced all over this book us today God values us if we'll value him he values us anyway but if we don't recognize God and, and give him the place that he wants in our lives and reverence him honor him we're going to miss out now that's just, just that's just simple we're going to miss out now, you remember a statement Jesus made? He said, Ye are in the world, but you're not of it. Listen to that. You're in the world, but you're not of it. What's that supposed to mean, Jesus? <laughs> I thought we make up the world. No. No. The world he's referring to is one that's being dominated by the devil. His system, his motive, M.O., his uh, way of doing, his, that is the world system. The world system is not the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is his kingdom, is his way, his way of doing. So when we're, when we're born again, now listen to this, folks. When we're born again, we're born into the family of God and we're born into the kingdom. And Jesus said, you're not of this world. And what's that supposed to mean? We're, we're, not, we're not supposed to abide or to be dominated by the world. By the world. By the influence of the world. We, we shouldn't value things of the world. We should place very little value on some of them. Some of them. Just very little value. Now look here. Let's all fasten our eyes. Let's all get awake this morning. And look here at St. John chapter 3. Fasten your eyes on it. Fasten your eyes on it. St. John chapter 3. And verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now listen to this. I told you you're in this book today and this is you. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. So we see here that it's the will of God that you not perish. We see here that God loves you. God loves me. That he gave his son for me. He so loved the world that he gave. This is what it was going to take to bring the world to him. That whosoever would believe in him should not perish. This is not the words from a preacher. This is the words from the book. From Jesus himself. And he's talking about you. <laughs> and he's talking about me. Somebody thinks God don't speak to people. He speaks to you more than you realize. Matter of fact, he's talking to you now. You, Brother Gross, no. His word. His word is talking to you. Now, if you'll value that, 
If you'll value the Word, you're, you're valuing God Himself. If you'll place and put great value on it, He'll bring it to life for you. Or you can be one of those people who says, Ah, well, you'll be left behind. You'll be pushed aside. It's the truth this morning. 